We've got reports from both Russia and Ukraine this morning. NBC News senior international correspondent Keir Simmons is in Moscow, and NBC News foreign correspondent Matt Bradley is in Kharkiv, Ukraine, 25 miles from the Russian border. Good morning to you both. Matt, let me start with you there along the border in Ukraine. Uh, what is the feeling right now about whether this may be imminent, despite all the talks and the potential for this summit between Biden and Putin, which still is a long way off? What is the feeling among Ukraine? Ukrainian people on the ground and Ukrainian officials about whether and when this may happen. Yeah, I mean, Willie, it's a good question and something I've been talking about ever since I got here a month ago. It's really remarkable, the massive disconnect between uh, what we're hearing internationally from Washington and what we're seeing on the ground. Yesterday at this hotel where I'm standing, and again, 25 miles from the border, there was a massive children's dancing competition in the hotel. So about 700 children from all over Ukraine, their parents felt like they could drive them to within 25 miles of the border with Russia, and they felt confident about it. And, you know, it's really interesting because the fact is, it, you know, is this hubris? Is this defiance? No, I mean, they're just used to it. This is a war that's been going on for eight years, and Ukrainians feel as though the threat has always been there and it's never gone away. But that is belied by the facts on the ground here. Uh, just across the border, um, there are a huge number of armaments that are moving around. Uh, we're starting to see tanks, uh, mobile, mobile howitzers, um, fighter jets, and, uh, and uh, helicopters that are arrayed just across the border. Uh, and that was, as you mentioned, from Maxar Technologies, which has been tracking this from the beginning. Uh, we're also starting to see from Maxar and other groups who are monitoring, the movement of some of these armaments from their more permanent positions, from their staging areas, into what looks like a battle preparation mode. And that's also been very threatening. So the government here is sounding the alarm on that. Also, uh, to the east of where I am, in those two separatist enclaves, the Russian-backed, we're starting to see a real uptick in the tempo of fighting. We're starting to see uh, a, a massive exchange of fire between these Russian-backed separatists and Ukrainian regular military. You know, two soldiers, two Ukrainian soldiers were killed just over the weekend. Uh, and there's been dozens of incidents, sort of violations of the terms of the of ceasefires that have been recorded every single day. And that number is increasing. I expect that we're going to start to see more and more of that as this week goes on. You know, I was speaking to a Ukrainian diplomat a couple of weeks ago, and he told me, uh, you know, as long as the diplomats are talking, the guns are silent. But the fact is, mm. Willie, that as long as the diplomats are talking, the guns are moving. They're moving into place. They're trundling all around the border. You could practically hear them from where I am. And it really means that, it, you know, it really just goes to show that even as these, you know, interminable discussions keep going on and on, Vladimir Putin is moving guns into position for a potential invasion. And we can see that from the satellites. It's very clear. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.